smiling <laughs> friends. I see the devil. In my opinion, one of the greatest 80 some minutes of animated comedy to ever come out of Adult Swim, brought to us by two of the internet's most long standing and accomplished creators in the animation medium, Zach Hadel and Michael Cusack. Now, if we come in here, it's always a homunculus. Seeing people who, in my childhood, I watched go from being random dudes making animations on the internet to having a full blown show that is actually really good, this not only makes me really happy for them, but it also gives me hope. If you've ever seen any of my channel, you'll think that's hilarious. In my opinion, smiling Friends is one of the best shows I've seen in recent times. I'm not just saying all this because it's popping in the algorithm when I want to squeeze the project that I love so very much like a fucking lemon to extract all its algorithm fluid to ingest. For context, if you've ever seen YouTubers that break into different media markets, most of them have the grace and subtlety of a gazelle with three broken legs. Now I'm not going to say this show is perfect because like everything, it definitely has places it can improve. But I will say I've watched this series over three times now and I enjoy it so much every single time. I can't say that for most media that is generated today. And it came from YouTubers. If you're a fan of Only Plays and like Zach's tirades and voices, you will love every single moment of this cartoon. Michael Cusack and Zach Hadel's vocal range is absolutely insane. Like they voice literally almost every character. Take it from a terrible voice actor, it's really hard to be a good voice actor. They also have a ton of cameos from the Only Plays crew and the entire show just feels like a Newgrounds animation era victory lap. The internal character dynamics of Smiling Friends are amazing. Charlie and Pim bounce off of each other in what looks like a parody of the classic idealist think on the bright side kept in check by a negative realist cartoon combo. Not only do they approach this strategy sincerely and have a great back and forth, but they also make fun of the overused dynamic while still somehow executing it effectively. In modern animated shows, the animation often falls very flat. Everything looks smooth, the anatomy isn't really messed with, it's all kind of cookie cutter and corporate. Even shows that break the mold of this, in my opinion, don't take the media as far as it used to be taken. Now, there are always exceptions, for example, SpongeBob taking the animation to weird and interesting places. Maybe not recently, I don't actually know. I stopped watching a while before the episode where SpongeBob was used as a cleaning utensil by a Nickelodeon executive to wipe the shit he took off of Steven Hillenburg's grave while he smokes the money he made from the Patrick show out of a bong. What, what are we talking about again? One of these exceptions is Smiling Friends. You can see distinct representations of both Zack and Michael's art styles. One of the things I've always loved most is Zack's grotesque and strange representations of anatomy, and it's on full display here. When some shows have multiple animation styles, it's usually just like a one-off gag or peppered in here or there without taking the best aspects of each type of medium. In Smiling Friends, they are the centerpiece. I'm talking realistically 3D textured renders, SpongeBob style gross-ups, bitmojis that for some reason make me think of girls that I'm into because I only use Snapchat and now my brain's fucked. Even live action blended together seamlessly to create a smorgasbord amalgamation that gives me so many more smiles than Lyle's one icon a giant green eye. The written humor here is also iconic to the creators that spearheaded this. I feel like when most TV animation references internet crap, it's the most out of touch boomerang thing that makes me cringe so hard I can feel my skeleton vibrate. When this show does it, you can definitely feel that these people understand what they are making fun of and aren't just taking a stab in the dark and pulling the old howdy do fellow kids. Just feels like Michael and Zach making goose with their friends. Even though this show is the most irony filled thing I've seen in a while, it's strangely more sincere than most media I see today. A lot of you might not expect a meaning with a show like Smiling Friends, but this show actually conveys an interesting message. Look at Charlie's struggles with being a dopamine junkie. In a lot of episodes, he's caught in a pleasure-seeking loop. Dopamine loops are something everyone experiences even if they aren't aware of it. Basically, a dopamine loop happens when you start to draw most of your satisfaction in life from short-term vices, and it can potentially prevent you from working on your own problems or reaching goals because it gives you a short-sighted and intensely negative mindset. Now, even though these dopamine boosts get a deservedly bad rap, they can honestly be a good thing. For example, January 1st of last year, my channel had around a thousand subs and whatever I'm at now was the result of me endlessly chasing social media dopamine boosts that I would get whenever the robots liked me. It's also really easy to overdo a good thing and with negative habits, you can easily find yourself in trouble. For example, in the same year that I was all Sigma male grind set with work, the same mechanic drove me to eat like shit. I still get caught in these loops all the time like any sentient creature and I definitely still have my vices, but being aware of this cycle has been incredibly helpful for me. I'm not just telling you all this crap to brag about my cringe YouTube channel and say how strange it feels both mentally and physically to gain and lose 22% of your body mass within a year and a half timeline. I'm saying all this to illustrate how real a topic Smiling Friends touches on and how much it's affected my life personally. I can really relate to the message of Smiling Friends and if Zach and Michael are putting their own struggles into their work, I'd like to say thank you. You summarized how I feel in a way that I don't think anybody else has yet, a way that I don't think I could. I've looked up to these creators for a while, so it's cool to see that people I consider 
are so talented have the same problems I do. I see the devil. This show made me smile so hard I give it 4.5 special pieces of cheese out of 4.5 special pieces of cheese. If you don't watch it, I, f I hate you. Anyways, if you like this video, you should like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled or I will come to your house and do something really weird and creepy but technically not illegal. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>